Stop recording video. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is Jesse here, and I am back for a quick hardware review video. Actually, this is going to be a twofer, a two-in-one video, um, because the products I'm going to review are very similar, but with one really distinct difference, I would argue. We are looking at a couple more pair of headphones. Yeah, I know. How many have I done on the channel so far? Um... I've done several pair of headphone videos, but today we are going to be looking at the Aftershocks Aeropec and the Aftershocks Open Calm. Two pair of Aftershocks bone conduction headphones. Now, if you have watched the channel for some time, you know that I've reviewed a couple other Aftershocks headsets in the past. I started with the original Bluetooth headset didn't really like it. It was bulky. It really didn't, it wasn't super comfortable. It, the audio just really wasn't that great. And then I dove back in after a friend of mine had gotten the Airs, or no, it was the Titaniums. I think I've done the Titaniums and the Airs. Both of those are a couple generations older, but they, the headsets themselves got a lot lighter. They got a lot better audio quality. They were a lot more comfortable and the battery life for as little, you know, as little hardware is in them. I mean, look at these, the, you know, even the airs and the titaniums, they weren't a heck of a lot bigger than this. So there's not much room to put a battery, but all things considered the, you know, the battery life was better than expected. Um, the latest couple of generations, um, of the Aftershocks brand are the Aeropex and the OpenCom. There's a couple other ones, but those are the major ones um, that I would recommend. These are both Bluetooth headphones. They're bone conduction headphones, so they don't, you know, they might look like they would be earbuds or something, but they're not. They are bone conduction. You put these around the back of your head and the little pieces to the left and right sit right in front of your ear. So it kind of sits on your cheek, kind of, your, you know, right in front of your ear. And they are so light that you almost forget that you have them on. I mean, I've been really close to almost stepping into the shower with them because I've forgotten that I had them on. I'm like, oh crap, I got to take these off. Um, so like I said, they're bone conduction. They work great. Bluetooth, um, they're wireless. I use them all the time with my iPhone. Um, as far as like controls on them, I'm going to look at the Aeropec first and that's A-E-R-O-P-E-C if I remember correctly. So on the one side you have most of your controls. Um, you have on the right ear, uh, ear piece, you have a little square piece that kind of sits over your, uh, on the side of your head. You have a, a volume up and down button. And the volume up button is the same one that you use for you turn you hold that button to turn it on you hold it longer to go into bluetooth pairing mode um, and then you have your volume up and down so you can do that and then it has the one sort of downside i like the connector but it is a proprietary um charging adapter cable that you get in the case and it's kind of like if you remember like the MagSafe cables that are on the Mac it's very similar to something like that but you just you get the little magnet cord just close to it it just goes just snaps right up into it and it charges and it charges pretty quickly um not too bad at all on the Aeropec so those are all the controls you have on the right earpiece or on the right side on the left side, you have a play pause button and you can hold that to do like, um, to do like your smart assistant, that kind of a thing. And that's it. So, you know, you can like, if you double tap the forward and backward, I believe, you know, you can go forward and backward a track, but I mean, the, the controls are very simple. There's not much to them. Um, and you know, are they going to sound the absolute best for music? Mm, no, not really. But they, you know, if you're in a halfway reasonably quiet environment, uh, I listen to music with them. I, you know, I listen to Google Music or videos or 
movies or whatever, but they're wonderful for podcasts, for audiobooks, that kind of a thing. Um, I use those all the time for that. And like I said, even some music and movies, YouTube and Netflix and whatever. Um, so they work great for that. They're also great for if you are blind or visually impaired and you use audio for GPS. You use like an iPhone or Android app and you want to still be aware of your surroundings and not cut out the environmental noise around you. So you hear cars, you hear people, you hear other things in your environment because they sit in front of your ears. Likewise, in a meeting or if you're going to class, you want to hear your... You want to hear whatever you're using to take notes. You take notes on your iPhone with a Bluetooth keyboard or Braille display. Um, they work great for that. I use them at work um, when we were still in the office. Um, you know, I would use them in meetings, and I would just have them on pretty much all the time. I mean, the, basically, I have so many pair. Like, I had older versions of these. I accidentally broke one of my titaniums. It was my fault for doing that. Um, but I just went and replaced it with the newer model because I love these so much. So I have one, a pair at work, I think of the Airs, I believe. And then I have the, um, Aeropec at home. And then I got my hands on the Aftershocks OpenCom. Now, this headset is pretty equivalent to the Aeropec with one major, ex oh crap, with one major exception. Um, you got a little, la 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 la, where are you? You got a little microphone, a little boom microphone on it. And you can put it down to your cheek. You can, you can flip it up so it's more by your, you know, by your ear and your head to get it out of the way. And if you have any intent on talking on the phone, using Zoom, using FaceTime, um, any sort of, you know, Teams, um, Clubhouse, whatever, I have used the heck out of these things in the last several months since I've gotten them. Um, because, you know, you can use, it's got a built-in mic on these other ones, but Bluetooth mics generally suck. I've said that before, and I'll continue to say it because most Bluetooth headphone microphones suck. They're bad. Um, this one, though, is very clear. I've had no complaints. Uh, my friend's got a pair. I've got a pair. We've talked. Um, I've talked on Clubhouse. I've talked on phone calls, Zoom calls. And everyone's like, oh, you're using a headset? Like, you can, you can tell that you're using a headset over just your phone speaker, but not... you, you got to really kind of listen for it or be aware of it. But, I mean, it's clear, and p everyone that I've told has been really impressed. Um... And it's because of this boom microphone. It's really more, they're wanting to focus more on your speech. Whereas something with the air, the Aeropex, like right here, these just kind of capture sound from pretty much everywhere. Um, so you get a lot more background noise. Like my friend would love to call me on his way home and you would hear traffic sounds, the bus, you'd hear you know, him walking around the wind. It was just really obnoxious. Um, and then he started wearing these and you really, you might hear a tiny little bit, but I would say 95% of the background audio is gone. So the microphone does a really good job. So the other thing that these new ones do, these open comms, they have this fast charging so you can charge it for like, God, what is it? I, I don't even remember. It, you can charge it for like a short amount of time, like 30 minutes or something. And it'll give you at least a couple hours of talk time. So let's say you got a meeting. Oh, crap. I forgot to put my phone, uh, headphones on the charger. Um, it'll get you through. Um, they charge quite quickly. And both of these last, 
I would say a good six to eight hours, sometimes a lot more, depending on like if you're using them steady, you're going to be probably getting six to eight hours. But if you're like using them for an hour, then you pause, you're doing stuff. So, you're, you know, you have them on, but you're you just you're not listening to anything. They'll sit on standby for, you know, I've had them on all day um, and they've worked. So, yeah, like I said, there's not much room to put a battery in there, but both of these do really well with battery. Now, there's one potential annoyance um, with these, especially if you're a voiceover user um, and especially if you're maybe thinking about GPS. The one downside is that they're using this Bluetooth low um, energy, which is good because it makes the battery last a, long, a lot longer. But what happens is, let's say you, you stop listening to something and then you touch your phone and then you, know, you tap the screen or something and voiceover comes up. You might get the first word or part of a word cut off because it takes like a half a second for the headset to kind of wake up and start responding again. Ordinarily, you know, it's a, it's a minor annoyance, not super a big deal. But if you're, let's say, using GPS and you want to have, you know, like, oh, all, all your phone says is, uh, you know, First Avenue, 30 feet ahead, you know, and, but it cuts off the First Avenue part. That's kind of important information to have. So... Um, both of these have that sort of an issue. The one thing that you could do is if you had like some ambient sound or, you know, even have people will just have like a silent track. I've heard of people doing that where they'll just have like a play an audio file that has no, no audio in it, but it's just silent. And that keeps your, it's still technically sending audio to your device, be it your speaker, your headphone, whatever, but it keeps that bluetooth connection alive so that if you do have something like your screen reader or gps app chiming in for a short blurb of audio you won't have that cut off so that is the one downside but other than that i absolutely love both of these headphones um the aeropex are great but honestly <laughs> i've fallen in love with these open comms these have become my primary headset. I wear these like, you know, I've been working at home now for quite a while. I got these a few months ago. And like I said, I've, I've taken calls. I've done Zoom. I've done Clubhouse. I've just listened to tons of audiobooks and podcasts and some music and movies. And I love them. Um, the other main advantage, that the thing that I really like about these um, open comms is they come with a case the other ones they just come with like a little a little bag kind of a thing that you can slide them in but be, i think because of the microphone and it's a little bit you know you don't want that thing to snap you want to protect it when you're transporting it you got a nice little padded plastic plasticky case with some kind of cloth i mean they're really nice it's got a pocket up here so you can put your charger in. And I like the fact that both of these at least are using that same charger. Um, you know, like I said, you've got the controls on the one side, the up and down, you've got the charger on the one side. And then on the other side, you have the play pause. Both headsets are like that. Both also use this um, proprietary charging cable. So now, because I have two of these different types of headsets and they use the same charger, at least I have two um two chargers so i have one in this case and then one in my usb hub by my bed where i charge it every day every other night so anyway that's really about all there is to say other than price um the air the aeropex are about a hundred and what 140 150 <coughs> and the open comms are a little more expensive they're about 170 bucks but, again, if you want something unobtrusive, they don't get in the way, they're super light, they're comfortable, you know, again, you're using assistive technology, screen readers and stuff, you don't want, you know, you want to hear, have your ears open, 
but still be able to hear your device. These are great options. So that is a review of the Aftershocks Aeropec and Opencom Bluetooth stereo Bluetooth headsets. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, twitch.tv slash illegally cited, illegally cited.com, and right here on YouTube. Until next time, I will chat with everybody again later. Stop recording video.